What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to serve as a comparison for you guys out there to see the difference between the OtterBox Defender Series case for the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. Now obviously I have the two products right here in front of your face. So let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the front. And we can see that we have the same polycarbonate shell that we had from the iPhone 4S onto the iPhone 5. Now down here is where the change really took place on the front. Now both of them do come with screen protectors uh, added into the case. And on the iPhone 4S, the silicone comes all the way across the home button where on the iPhone 5, the actual hard shell is coming down and uh, coming over the top of the home button. Now taking a look at the back of the cases we can see there is a big difference here. On the back we have more of a matte finish here where on the iPhone 4S we had more of a rubber silicone type of feel on the back back here. We also had a, a diamond shaped pattern on the back as well. Uh, this one doesn't feel as comfortable as this one but this one I think would last a lot longer. Now this one here on the other hand seems to appear to be more thicker and of better material, like I said, of a matte finish. We also have the OtterBox logo on both editions here on the bottom. We have the spot for the Apple logo where on the iPhone 4S we had a very small bezel on the inside that led up to the silicone. Or we can see over here on the iPhone 5 that we have a bigger bezel that actually comes out and protrudes out towards us in a tapered fashion. On the iPhone 4S we have sort of an oblong uh, shape and also we have uh, the camera and the flash right next to each other. On the iPhone 5 we're going to have more of a uh, stretched out rectangular look and we have a speaker in the middle of our flash and our camera on the iPhone 5. And nothing has changed on the right side of the unit, so let's go ahead and take a look at the left side. So taking a look at the left side of the OtterBox Defender Series case, we can see that we still have protection here over the mute switch. And we also have protection here for the up and down volume rocker. And the iPhone 5's case still appears to be one grade thicker over the iPhone 4S. We still have a notch here for the belt clip holster. One last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the belt clip holster. It did see a change as well in the iPhone 5 uh, OtterBox Defender case, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at those as well. Now on the iPhone 4S, we can see that it does go all the way across on the bottom. It does come up and have two side plates right here with the interlocking plate right here in the middle. And on the back, we can see we have a very large clip that is 360 degree rotatable. Now on the iPhone 5, you can see they redesigned the belt holster and down here they've actually removed the bottom portion down here which I kind of like the way it looks. It reminds me of a, a controller for gameplay. It also came down a little bit farther here on the cutouts as well. Uh, taking a look at the back we can see we have a smaller belt clip holster here and that is 360 degree rotatable as well. Not as loud as well when we rotate that. And you can see that they did make it thinner here on this model. You can tell the difference here on the back on the thickness of the clips. One last look at the bottom. You can see it snaps on very nicely here. The OtterBox Defender Series cases range anywhere from $50 to around $55. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. This has been a demonstration of the differences between the OtterBox Defender Series case for the iPhone 4S and for the iPhone 5. 
Uh, we got a lot of good content coming your way, so be sure to subscribe so you are first to see the video, see the information. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video.